nice to see some green plants again. Looks like they're still rebuilding a lot of these homes. The couple I lived with ended up moving to Tahoe. So just haven't been back really. These guys, they slept through the entire fire and woke up um, to their fence on fire. <laughs> Pretty amazing they, they made it. Here it is. So weird being back. Can't even tell a house used to be here. I think it was around 1 or 2 a.m. I woke up to my room was just completely filled with smoke. I stepped outside on the balcony and just wind crazy, like a tornado. And I turned around and it's just a wall of flames. I ran into the hallway and um, Pam and Rick were, we kind of, kind of didn't say much except I think we have to go. I grabbed my um, laundry basket and my backpack because I was going to school the next morning and the winds and the lighting of the sky with the, just like a red overcast the whole way you were driving. It was just a scene out of a, a war movie. I thought our whole city was gonna burn. Didn't see an engine in sight. They were dealing with about 50 other fires in our county. Resources were stretched so thin um, that there just wasn't enough. It's always in the back of our heads now and it's something that you never thought would, would happen to Santa Rosa. You never thought a fire would be able to wipe out an entire community. Just the feeling of helplessness, not being able to do anything and, and not knowing. I didn't, never want to feel that feeling again. This friend had a heart attack 
and he called Al and he says, hey, can you drive the bus for me just temporarily till I get over this heart attack? And Alan said, well, yeah, I suppose I can do that. Well, 25 years later, he's still driving a school bus. Thank you.